What's up guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I went about upgrading my 4TB SSD to this 1TB Crucial T700. It's got a read speed of 11,700 megabytes a second. You can see back here that I've got a clone drive, but because I'm going from 4TB to 1TB, you cannot simply clone it. This would have to be greater than the current drive. So what you would have to do in this case, migrate the operating system or copy the operating system via a program. We're going to be using Minitool Mini Partition 12.8. Shout out to Minitool for providing the software for this video. They also sponsored this video, so big shout out to them. I've been using Mini Partition Tool for a while now, all the way back to like Mini Partition 8. And I have to say that the program itself is amazing, so user friendly and especially the user interface. It isn't a very complicated user interface. When you wanna do something quickly, you don't need a user interface that is complicated to look at so that you can follow prompts easily and click on what you wanna do easily. And this is just a quick look at what the interface looks like when you use a program like this. I'm going to be using a external drive because all my drives are full at the moment, but I wanted to stress that you don't have to use an external drive like this. You can just use the slots on your PC. You just remove one of the SSDs that's in another slot and then you're able to use this program the way I'm gonna show you now. The only difference here is I'm going to use an external one so I don't have to remove any of my other SSDs. Firstly, I wanna show you how we use this cool little device which is called a external SSD enclosure. It's called a RTL. 9210B. I will list this in the description for you guys. So if you wanna get something like this, then be sure to check out the product. But this video isn't about this device, but in order for you to understand how to use this, let me give you a quick demonstration of how you use this. We need to install this SSD into this external closure so we can do the copying using the program. They give you the screwdriver, an extra thermal pad, and two cables, one with USB-A to Type-C and the other one Type-C to Type-C. Grab your new SSD and you install it like you would any other M.2 SSD. Line up your slot here, push it in on a slight angle. This already has its own screw. Just push it back over the top and install your screw. If this is going to be a permanent enclosure, then you would install the thermal pad so that it keeps the SSD as cool as possible. And you always want to plug this into the back of your PC because those ports are a lot more reliable than the front ones. This is as simple as plugging it in and then waiting for it to load. Here I have it plugged in right now and as you can see this really is a very cool little device. So with that all safely plugged in we're going to jump over to my PC and I'm going to show you firsthand how I use this software and how easy it is to use. First, let me show you how you download the software. You go into a new tab. Here's our new tab. Then we go to mini tool partition. This is it here. You go to download center and you want to select the mini partition wizard free download. You can try the free version first, but it's always best to get the full version. That way you have access to all the other features. Then from here, you simply save it like so. Right now, once saved, it's here in the top corner. Click on it and it will open it up like so and then you install it click ok now it's telling me here that it's going to get rid of my older version because i already have it installed then you simply just click yes next 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 and then it installs once installed it's going to come onto your desktop like here once installed just double click click yes you want to open it and now you are presented with the actual user interface and this is it right here if you have bought it and you have a copy then you would go to the top corner here and go to enter license key then you would enter your license key in here whatever it may be once you enter in the key it will activate that version for you all i want to do here migrate my os system or copy my current hard drive to a one terabyte this is my new one terabyte hard drive that is the model there realtek rtl 9210b just like i said before it's reading the device and not the actual ssd but we know the ssd is in the device drive i'm trying to copy is the c drive right here all I have to do now is go to Migrate OS because it's a bit different when you migrate your operating system over to a hard drive than it is just copying it. So I go to Migrate and I have two options here. A, I would like to replace my system disk with another hard disk and then it gives you info. Mini Tool Partition Wizard will copy all the partitions on the system disk to another disk. You want B. 
I would like to copy my operating system to another hard disk and keep the original hard disk in my computer. And just in case something goes wrong, you still have your original hard disk. You select B and go next. From here, you want to select the SSD you want to send it all to, and that's going to be this one here. Don't worry if it hasn't been initialized, it will do all that for you. And that's the beauty of mini tool partition. What I like to do here is fit partitions to entire disk because you want to fill the disk as one drive rather than having partitions. But even if you were to select the other one and it partitions the drives for you, you can always change that because this tool is so useful. You can do so many things with this one software that it's just crazy. All I do now is just go next. The notice they give you here, if you want to boot from your new SSD, just make sure you go into BIOS and select your new disk as your boot drive. That's all it's saying, right? And then from here, you just finish it. The three drives in your C drive, which are these three, have now been partitioned into your new drive, which is right here. It will copy the entire operating system over to your new SSD. It really is that simple, guys. So I click apply now. It strongly recommends for you to close every other program while you're doing this. Click yes, and straight away, it starts to copy over everything. You just have to wait for it to slowly copy all the partitions over and migrate your operating system straight over to your new SSD. So I'm going to remove my boot drive now. Let's take that out. Just help this out. This is my current boot drive. It's the Lexa NM790 4TB. You take it out, insert this, install it like you would any M.2 on a slight angle, push it down so it clips in. You gotta love these quick latches. With the SSD installed, we'll boot it now. Now remember, you do have to go into BIOS and make sure it selects your new operating system. Okay, so now we're in BIOS, we can already see that it is in fact reading our new SSD. And as you can see, it also has the boot manager on here. So that's great. Let's go to boot and let's make sure our boot drive is in fact the first boot option. Then we simply go to save and exit setup and it should now boot. If it's a success, you should see my desktop exactly the way it was before. That's already a good sign. The fact that it's showing Mikey's vlogs, it's exactly the same. Even with Rain Meter on here with my YouTube search bar and my Google search bar and the time widget. So there you go, guys. That's how easy it is to use a software like this where you upgrade your operating system to a another SSD which is smaller than your current SSD. Using a program like this definitely make things so much easier. Of course, there are other programs out there that you can use, but keep in mind that with this program, you have all these other features that you can use at any given time because the program has so many features that it offers that it is just amazing. So now that we're back into it, we go into mini partition tool once again and we check out our SSD All right so as you can see here it definitely did copy it exactly the way that I named it even though this is the crucial T700 SSD it even copies it the exact same name that you name it right now I have to rename this to crucial T700 because that is the name of it so I'll do that now and there we are and let me just show you how easy it is to partition here and also to merge partition right, so say for instance we have this other drive here right and we want to partition it into two drives so you simply go to resize and say i want to have it i click ok i click apply and straight away it's going to partition this drive for me into two partitions so that I have two disks on the one drive. That's how easy it is using a software like this. And that's why I really wanted to share this with you guys because like I did state earlier, I have been using this program for a very long time, all the way back since Mini Partition Tool 8. It's now up to 12.8. So they've come a long way and I have to admit that the user interface gets better and the user friendliness of this software program is just impeccable it's basically all spelt out for you on the side tab here look at the options that they have here you've got data recovery you've got partition recovery disk benchmark as well as space analyzer and then on the right side you've got boot media like bootable media meaning that you're able to create a boot disk using this software just like how you create a bootable disk with 
Windows, you can do that using this software itself. And on the far right here, you've got your manual. So in the manual, it just basically takes you to their web page and it takes you to a full itemized list of each feature of this program and how you can use it. I am an actual user of this program and I was so stoked when they finally reached out to me and offered me all these licenses so that I could test out each individual program. So if you look here in the top left hand corner, they have it, they've already given me three different software programs to use and that's amazing. So as you can see right here, it has been successful. I can now create a drive with this and let's call this Lexa 4 terabyte B disk 8. Remember you always have to apply it so you apply this. Yes. And now it will apply the name and straight away you see it down here before it even completes. So if I close this, you can see straight away that here it is right here. Lexa 4 terabyte B drive N. It just goes to show how easy it is to do something partition drives recover information recover data all that good stuff with this one simple program but say you wanted to do it the other way and you wanted to merge a partition because you're not using that partition for any reason and it's just sitting there and i know how frustrating this can be because it used to happen to me all the time where i've cloned a hard drive but i have no way of merging it because I don't know the commands in command prompt and I just don't know how to do it. That's where this software program comes in handy once again. So right now you've got two drives on this one disk, but you just want it to be one drive because all I'm using for this is videos, right? So you go into this here and you go into merge, right? You want to merge this drive with this drive and that's going to be great because that's exactly what you want. So you go next here and then you click here and then you click finish. Right now, you can see what it's going to do. It creates it into one drive like it was previously. And it really is that simple, guys. Now, as you can see, the name has changed. So if I undo this and I just go the other way around where I merge this to this, it will keep the same name. Just remember that. You just have to remember that the disk you're merging is the one that's going to become the end result drive. It keeps the name of the first drive that you selected. And just like that, it's going to merge these two partitions for me and create one separate drive once again. You always have to apply the changes. Nothing happens until you apply the change. So for instance, seeing as this is only one drive now, I'm going to rename this. Okay, so we get a label and we're just going to call it videos now. When I click OK, although it does that here, you notice how the apply here is highlighted, meaning that nothing will change until you apply this so down the bottom here watch this as i apply the change apply see how it just changed just then even though it's not finished it's updating the information but it has already changed down here i can't stress how easy it is to use this i am not a computer genius and i do not know how to do everything on pcs i am still very new and i'm learning things along the way so that's why it's so important to have software programs that are this user friendly, giving you the ability to do all these things by yourself without having to ask somebody else to do it. And if you look down the left here, you can see all these useful features that are definitely going to help you in the long run. Migrate your OS like we just did. Copy partition wizard. It gives you step-by-step -step prompts on how you copy over a partition right and if you click on the tutorial it comes up with this here it takes you to their website and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how you copy a partition so that's just amazing one of the most frustrating things about using a new software is not having a step-by-step -step guide with detailed picture so that you can see exactly what you're supposed to do it highlights the area you're supposed to click. It shows you what comes up on every step and then highlights the button you're meant to press next. As you can see here, if it wasn't for this program, I would have no idea on how to do these things. Building PCs is one thing, but going further into PCs and learning about partitions and formatting drives, cloning drives, copying hard drives, migrating OSs and all that stuff is a completely whole new ball game. And having something this user-friendly really helps with understanding 
how to do it and the process of doing it it's just crazy how easy they have made this software to use so i couldn't recommend this software more yes i am sponsored by them but i am a true avid user of this program if you don't believe me give it a shot download the free version and i guarantee you you will not be sorry another excellent feature of this is how you can check file systems on a drive you just want to check it see if there's any errors on this all right so right now it scans the entire drive for you and it lets you know if there are any errors right and if there are you can fix them with the next step no further actions required zero bad sectors so that everything seems to be good so that's great you can hide partitions you can unhide a partition you can wipe partitions you know align partitions format partitions there's just so much you can do and that's just in the partitioning management of this program there's also data recovery you know sometimes when you drop a hard drive especially a mechanical drive when you drop it and you get a corrupted ssd for any reason this comes in handy because you're able to recover anything that you may have lost in it and this is how it is done so with pcs and files on pcs you're able to recover just about anything because it's just saved into like the pc space just because you've deleted something doesn't necessarily mean that it's completely gone it's actually got a digital footprint and using something like data recovery will help you recover anything that you may have lost due to corruption or accidentally deleting it it really is as simple as clicking on the hard drive that you want to recover it from it will find files any files as you can see here there are lost files and there are deleted files on here you're able to recover all of this using this one program these are the existing files that are already on here and these are lost files lost partitions even though my current existing files are all here there are still deleted files here that I'm able to pull back out. So that's so cool that you're able to view it before you decide to restore it. We'll recover it to videos. Recovery complete. So now we'll go to videos. And there is the recovered file right there. So just like that, I was able to recover a file. We're able to benchmark a disk using this program. It really is as simple as selecting the disk and it's going to benchmark the disk. This is one of my hard drives and it's just going to do a quick benchmark of it so it can give us an idea of its sequential read and write speeds. That is pretty accurate with the speeds of a hard drive. That's just another way you can use this program. And lastly, Space Analyzer. What it basically does is it analyzes the hard drive and the directories, and then it lets the user understand which files and folders are occupying more space on the drive. Users can manually explore files and delete unnecessary files and applications in Space Analyzer. So that's basically how you use this entire software. Now I wanted to really give a big shout out once again to Minitool for allowing me this opportunity to explore this uh, new version of partition wizard pro ultimate 12.8 because it's a blessing in disguise as i was already using this program already in my personal and honest opinion you guys really do have to check this out now obviously if you're not ready to spend that type of money on it always go with the free version first and see how much you can get out of the free version and if you really like what you see and you really enjoy how easy it is to use this software to do multiple things then go ahead and purchase a copy because you will not regret it now i'm going to leave a link in the video description as well you guys can check out the website and experience all these programs for yourself and um, let me know in the comments guys what you guys think was it any good do you like the features and most of all are you going to get a copy yes they did sponsor this video but i'm not going to get a commission it isn't an affiliate link that i'm going to supply for you guys i'm really just happy that they reached out let me try this software and they sponsored this video so that i'm able to share it with you guys and introduce you to a software that's this easy this user friendly and works that well once again guys thanks very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off i'll see you in the next one guys bye for now